Okay, okay, uh, YouTubers and subscribers and viewers. Look, I just wanted to make a very quick um, upload video, so I won't take too long, but a lot of people out there play Lotto and, you know, all that sort of stuff and whatnot, but I've been asked several times because people say, look, you're a pretty cluey guy, you're pretty switched on, do you know much about Lotto and stuff? Well, actually, yeah, I do. I play it a little bit. I'm not saying, uh, like, you should go out and play it and stuff, but if you go to do it, look, seriously, um, you've got to play it in such a way that you're going to increase your chances. You're going to increase the odds in your favor. Now, look, they say that uh, numbers are randomly generated or whatever else, or even if you see the Powerball in the little basket going round and round and round, um, you know, and the balls just drop one by one. They say, oh, but it's random. But look, to be quite honest, um, there's a difference between randomness and blatant stupidity of choosing stupid numbers that, you know, have no chance of coming up in sequence. I'll give you a good example, okay? A good example is something like this. I'll just grab the pen lid off. A good example is something like this, okay? So if you, if you were to choose, say, um, numbers 1... Right, these are these are your numbers, okay? That you, that you decided you want to choose, right? Let's just say we go for a six set number, all right? A six set number is a good start, because um, you know that's obviously gonna help you out. But um, if you if you go to use a a six set number, right, and you're choosing stuff like you know whatever, don't choose numbers that are like this, right? Because this is just foolish. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Now, a lot of people out there will go, oh, duh, oh, no kidding. But you know what? I understand you guys understand that, right? But there are a lot of people probably watching this now that go, oh, yeah, well, you know, that's that, that makes sense. And, you know, some people just don't catch on as quick. So, you know, this is for people who, who um, are going to watch this and take some stuff on board. Now, look, I'm going to get a bit more advanced as I go along, but that's just to show... You know, this sort of stuff here, that's just to show, um, you know, what some people do. And it's just crazy. Like, those numbers, in a million, billion, to trillion years, probably will never come out in that sequence, right? It's almost impossible. So, this gives you an idea right here, okay, of what not to do. Num now, that's, that's number one, right? Number two, how to increase your odds. If you're picking numbers, right? If you're picking numbers, do not go for, like... You know, I mean, I know a lot of people say they get emotionally attached to, oh, but it's my grandmother's birthday number, or oh, it's my birthday, or oh, it's this, and oh, it's that, and I'm going to choose my best friend's birthday, and I'm going to choose my sister's birthday. No, 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 no. Here is why that is foolish as well, okay? <sighs> Where do I begin? Okay, numbers that, that, that are chosen like that can still be very similar to this type of setup here. They are too closely lined. Number one, and you you may get um, numbers that are so close. Like to give you an example, you might have 21, 26, 19, and 17, right? You might have those numbers, right, that you've chosen, right? And you say, but that's my grandmother's birthday. But this is this, and this is that, and that. you know what? No, don't do it. Okay, don't do it. Okay, just don't do it. <laughs> just don't do it. Now, look, you're probably thinking, well, okay, what do I do then? Let's get to the point. Let's get to the point, Mr. Captain Marvel, Mr. YouTuber. Get to the point. Okay, so I'll get to the point right now. These are the numbers you've got to look at, okay? Now, on every single lotto, um, you know, panel, there is obviously, right, uh, quite a few numbers, right? There's quite a few of them. Like, there's like 1 to 36 or something like that, right? It's like 1 to 36 or whatever, you know? So, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right up to 36 or 30 or 32 or whatever numbers there are, right? Let's pick some really good class numbers, all right? Let's pick some really good class numbers. And you'll see my pattern here, right? Let's go for like 1, right? That, that, that could be a common one. Let's go for one like 19, right? Now, see how that's a bit of a split there, right? You might go for something like... You gotta try and average it out. Okay, so so if you're gonna go low numbers, just remember what your low numbers are, right? And think, okay, what haven't I done here? You might put like 30 or even 31 there. Okay, you might do that as well. Okay, you might go 30 or 31 or something like that. Then you could do something like 
Okay, you might go, look, you know what? I'll do another low number. Here's an eight. See how one and eight, right? They're, they're not really close. I mean, you, you're starting to verge back in, but you're not really close. It's not like one, two, three, all right? Or one, four, five, okay? So try not to do that, okay? Here's another number that I find that if you're going to go around the 19s to the 30s that could come up, all right? Just try to do something that, that that's a bit cluey, a bit cluey, all right? Try not to, like, get them too closely matched. You might go something like, you know what, if 30 is going to come out, and 19 might too, right? So we'll go something like, say, I don't know, meet it halfway. You might go like a, a, a um, I don't know, a 23 or a 24. You might go 24, okay? That's not bad. That's not bad. And then you say, okay, look, I've got these numbers here, right? And I've got some, some numbers that are, you know, closely matched up. And these ones are obviously, you know, getting that way. But they're not, you know what I mean? But, they're, but they, they they may look a little, but they're not. They're not like this up here, one, two, three, four, five. You, you don't do that, okay? So let's let's just try the last number. Now, someone might copy this and say, hey, look, I just wrote these numbers down. I tried the lotto, and I won something. Look, if you do, please, you know, let us know. Put your comments there and say, hey, look, I've won some money, you know. That's that's a good system, you know. Okay, let's 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 look at the numbers, right? Okay, so now, now let's just say we've got 30. Let's just go up to, like, I mean, I'm, I can't remember how many numbers there are in, in, in a lotto game, but I think it's like 34 or 35 or something, or might even go to 40, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so let's just pick another number here, okay? Now, my first inclination is go, to go like number 7 or something, but I've already got number 8, so we won't do that, okay? So you could, you could substitute 8 for 7 or 8 for 9 or something like that, right? You could do that if that's what, if you want to do. Let's go something else like, say we go something like... Uh, I don't know. We've already got a 30 in the mix. See, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. This is where it gets a little bit tricky because you really want to separate them. All right? You really want to separate them. Because when numbers land, they hardly land in, you know, a sub a sub oh, what's that word? subsequential sequence. Okay? They they hardly they hardly land like that. So, I mean, occasionally they do. Occasionally this goes right out the window, all right? But it's very rare that this goes right out the window. Okay? It's very rare. So you're better off playing the odds on your side, not the rarity side. You know what I mean? So let's go something like, um, oh, okay. Let's go. Let let's really mix it up and go something like. Um, let me think for a second, because we've got an eight in there. Let's go something like. I mean, I don't even know whether or not it goes this high, but let's try a number like thirty-five. All right. Actually, I should check that. I should check that. If 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 the lotto number doesn't go up to 35, all right. If it doesn't, instead of putting a 35, let's go something like a, a um. Let's go something like a. Let me think for a second. Let's do something really good. All right. So let's go something like this. How about we go a a. I'm thinking of the 20s again. For some reason, I don't know why. But I don't want to mix in too much. So, no, actually, let's not, let's not go 20s. Let's not go 20s because you've got your 24 and your 19. So let's be let's be a little bit more logical about this, all right? Now, we've got a 1 to 8, and then the next step up is 19. So, obviously, we could go something like between the uh, the 8 to the 19. We could go something like, say, I don't know. Let's, let's go a number like um, 13, all right? Now, that might be unlucky for some, as they say, number 13. But, look, I think that suits pretty good. It's not too close, and it's got a little bit of a span there. Okay, so those sort of numbers there, I, in my opinion, have a better chance of coming up than definitely than these top ones here. Most definitely than those top ones. I'll put the light on for a minute. That's better. Hey, we've got some light. Yay! So that's obviously going to be a lot better than these ones here, right? Now, I know a lot of people on YouTube and that want to give their comments and suggestions and stuff, but look, seriously, you know, I've just laid it out bare. Bare no, as I say, the bare bones and all, right? Look, if you if you have any comments or suggestions or whatever, feel free to leave them, obviously, in the, um, in the comment section. And you'll see my little icon there, my little superhero character icon there. Click that if you want to go to my channel and you'll see another video that links up as well in the little box there. Okay, have a great one. See you later.